G'day, Mr. Fitz here. Hope you're going well. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to build a box. Now, this is going to be a bit more advanced than the one that you built in tutorial 4, and it is going to be very useful because by the end of this tutorial and the next, you're going to learn how to build a complete box and assemble it so you could potentially 3D print this as a project. Now, you'll see this box has a series of holes in which we can put some screws in and it is a nice round curved shape so it's a lot more attractive than the first one that you built. Let's get underway. So in Inventor what we want to do is start with our Tutorial 1 box. So if you have not completed Tutorial 1 I suggest you do that one first. So let's open up Tutorial 1 box. Now, quick reminder to rotate your model in the program. Press and hold the shift key on your keyboard whilst also pressing the middle mouse button. If you press the two together and then spin your mouse, it will rotate your model. So here we go, and there's tutorial one. First thing we're going to do is a save as. So you go, I save as. And let's call this tutorial four box. Now, if we go back to our drawing, if you have a look at the size of this box, it's 75 millimeters by 50 by 30 mil high. Tutorial one box was 100 by 50 by 40 high. So we can go back and change our box quite simply by modifying the sketch. So if I go into my extrusion here, if I right click my sketch and go edit sketch, I can go in and change these dimensions. So the 100 becomes 75, double click and change that to 75. 50 remains the same, finish the sketch and it updates. Now the height is controlled by the extrusion here, so right click extrusion, edit feature. And in our new box it's going to be 30 millimeters high. Press OK and it updates. So very useful anytime you want to make a change to an existing model, right click the feature in the feature tree and make the changes. Alright, let's start by putting in some fillets. So with our new box, we are going to round the outside of the box with a 4mm radius around all four and the bottom as well. So let's add those features. So fill it. We're going to make this a 4mm fillet and click on the outside corners plus all of the corners on the bottom of our box. 4mm looks good, OK. Now you'll notice here that the inside corners of my box are still sharp. This is not what I want. I want those inside corners to all follow the outside fillet. So to get those fillets on the inside of our box, what we can simply do is reorder our part tree. So over here is the end of your part. Any point in time you can drag this up and go back into the history of how you built your model. So we started with an extrusion, you then hollowed it out with a shell and then you added your fillet. Now if I move this fillet before the shell, you'll see that it will shell out the fillets on the inside, which is what we want. Very nice. Okay, next step, let's add our little bosses in the corner. So if we check out our drawing, that's these little features here. So there's four in the corners, and I'm going to keep this simple, and I'm going to ignore the hole for the time being, and just build this little pad on the inside. So let's go. Start with the sketch. 
choose your top face. Now I'm just going to draw the two inside edges of my pad from here to here. Make sure as you're drawing it that you've got a horizontal and a vertical. Um, you can always make them 90 degrees as well by using perpendicular tool. That will make them both perpendicular. Now, I want to add these edges into my sketch. So at any point in time, you can project geometry, which means to extend any existing edges, which could be above or below your model. You can bring them into your sketch. So I'm going to bring this, this, and this edge into my sketch. Right click and go OK. And I'm just going to double check that this line is going to stick to that line. And this line will stick to this line. You notice that when two lines join, there's a little yellow dot. Now, let's put in some dimensions. So from here to here, check your drawing that this should be 5 millimeters, And from here to here is also 5 millimeters. Cool. Now, these corners are actually symmetrical. In other words, I can mirror this over this side and then mirror these two over this side. I'm going to try doing this as a feature rather than in my sketch. So keep my sketches simple is a good tip. Make sure you've got a closed loop. So you need those yellow lines there and it's closed and we're going to finish our sketch. All right, let's extrude. So choose your profile to extrude. You should have that closed loop. Now, in this dialog box, I want to change the direction of my extrude. So flip it. Just make sure that it's going to build it as a solid rather than cut it. And I want this to go all the way down to this face here. What I can do is change the extents to 2. Sorry, to next. If I do to next, it will extrude it till it smashes into some other feature. So you can see there, it'll extrude it until it hits all those faces there. Looks good. Okay, let's build it. There we go. So as this is symmetrical, I can mirror it over this side and then mirror it over this side again. Now before I do that, I'm going to add my hole on the inside. So let's go sketch. Choose this face again, and I'm going to build a circle. This is the circle here in the middle. So it's 2.5 millimeters in diameter. And if I go to this view here, which is a section view, this cuts through the hole. And down here is that section. So I'm looking inside the part, and it's a 2.5 millimeter diameter hole and is 25 millimeters deep. That's the information I need. So I'm going to sketch a circle. Doesn't matter where. And I'm going to dimension this and tell it it is 2.5 millimeters in diameter. Now what I can do is I can place this roughly where I want it. And then checking back on my dimensions, I can position this from somewhere. So I know it's 67 millimeters to this hole and symmetrical, so I can choose a mid plane. So if I go to dimension, I can dimension from, say, the midpoint here to the center of the circle, hole to hole. So measuring from the center line, it's 67 millimeters between the holes. So obviously from the center, it's going to be half of that. So we can quite simply write 67 divided by 2. And Inventor will work it out for us. Now I can do from center hole to the center of the part. And that's going to be 42 divided by 2 from my drawing. And that's going to be position right. If you don't have these center lines or center point on your model, what you can do is 
draw a line from the center of the edge of your part. So you just simply draw a vertical line here, and you can also draw a horizontal line from here out. So those will give you a line that you can dimension from if you don't have that center point. Cool, let's cut this hole. So we're gonna extrude, choose the hole, cut, and this hole is going to be 25 millimeters deep, according to my drawing. 25, okay. Okay, let's mirror these across. So the way we do this is, if you remember from other tutorials, we have these planes here. So if you don't have these center planes, what you can do is you can create them. So if you go to plane, to create a plane in the center of my part, I can simply choose an end face on one side and an end face on the other. And you can see it goes to build a plane in between. So you can build those. But mine's in the middle, so I'm going to use those planes. So mirror. Choose the features you want to mirror. So I'm going to mirror this and this. Choose both together. Then click on your mirror plane. You can choose it from your tree here. So the XY plane. And you see preview and go OK. Halfway there, let's repeat that. So mirror. This time you need to choose these two features plus the mirror and then choose your mirror plane. In this case, we're going to choose this X, uh, Y, Z plane in the middle, and then go OK. And then we've got almost all the way through. Last thing to add to our box is this R2 fillet. So there's a 2mm fillet in here, and it's also around this corner and this corner. So let's add this, fill it, radius is 2, and choose your edges, so here, here, and here, looks good, repeat that for the other corners, here we go again, remember if you click the wrong line by accident, you can press and hold the shift key and click again to deselect it. So where are we here? One, two, and three, and okay. And then we have our box. Screw holes in the corners nice and round looks a lot more attractive than our earlier box and you're done make sure you save your work and you're ready to go on to the next tutorial good job